guys, Tails to Ram here. We're back with uh, the Tyrellian game. I'm here today with Soup. Do you want to say hey? Hello. He's coming in as a guest. Um, Ruby. Hello. Phoenix. Hello. Dude, Soup's not coming in as a guest. He's part of the game. Um, Shadowy. <laughs> e. And V. Up. Uh, yeah, those are the players, everything like that. Uh, it's been a while, sorry about that. And, um, yeah, last time we left off, the party had, uh, found themselves outside the college after the attack on Tyrellian started, or Tyrock, I should say, uh, attempting to find knowledge about what was going on, uh, by being asked by a druid and Mama Murphy. Uh, the party eventually got to the college, and we did a uh, small session where they got into the college, but I didn't like it, so I just deleted it. Um, it was just them crossing a bridge that was collapsing. That's really all it was. Um, so, yeah, that's where we're at right now. Anything else you guys want to say before we start? Mm, nope. Not yeah. really. Me. So let me just go ahead and... Boom. So... <clears throat> As the party finds themselves within the entrance hall of the College of Magic within Tyrellian here. Or School of Magic, I guess you could say. Damn. Chest was... I just had a burp that had to come out. Uh, you find yourselves inside the School of Magic. The doors closed behind you. The many archways and magical... Uh, not magical, but... Stone statues that permeate the inside entryway and outside entryway of this college, uh, having collapsed in on themselves and uh, blocking the door from escape. As you sit within here, your the echoes of the collapsing stone seem to permeate the halls and start to die off. The air is cold. The floor. Uh, a nice marble is also cold to the touch and very reflective. It's dark. Those of you with dark vision or dim light vision, I should say, in Pathfinder, um, can see that there is very little light aside from what explosions remain outside. It's at this point that you do not see anybody within this ring, this hall that exists. You are alone? What are you doing? Hmm. Well, it seems pretty simple. Uh, I'm going to start hanging down the hallway. I will do the same. Yeah, hmm. I'll do what? so with care to... I guess just to make sure, I'll probably be trailing behind, just to be a bit sneakier. Just in case my compatriots were to alert a, de a devil. V, Phoenix? I'm gonna follow Cut. them as well. I'm, I'm, I'm currently trying to get the app that I have to work. Phoenix? You're having troubles with it too. Yeah, clear the try clearing the cache. I'm gonna assume what you all app? just start moving forward then, right? Yeah. Alright, yes. so you're not gonna So are you moving straight forward into the like uh towards the inner rings of the college? Remember the college is a bunch of towers connected by several rings, uh, that seem to form around the college itself. Um, these are called hallways, and there are central, like, four central hallways that lead to the central tower and ring, um, and they pass through a bunch going through, but, um, most of the college is within these rings. Uh, do you guys go straight towards, like, where the, continue through the rings, or do you, uh, move around this first ring, is what I'm asking. Yeah, uh, I'd head down towards the inner rings. Okay. So, 
as the party begins to move towards the inner rings. Um, the only one who said they were doing it stealthily was Shadowy, mind you. So Shadowy, roll me a stealth check, please. Okay. Uh, let me skip that. All right, there we go. Twenty-two. Twenty-two. Yeah, pretty low. All right. So, um, as you continue to head through the halls, the sounds of your footsteps echoing on the marble stones, um, shadowy. You're really the only one that knows where you guys are going. By the way, and you're in the back behind everybody. So. I'd like a, just roll me survive, uh, what would it be, survival check here, because I haven't played Pathfinder in like six weeks. Uh, we have survival uh, skill. I just said Pathfinder 5. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, the three edition updates since we last played, holy crap. How I, know, right? I know, right? I know, right? You hear they're changing a lot of the terms to get away from D&D? Yeah. They actually are coming out with Pathfinder, I guess, 2.5 or 3? Mm, 2.5. That's going to be wonderful to think about. Uh, you wanted me specifically to roll the survival check? No, because you're not fucking guiding anybody. You're behind everybody. Mm -hmm. Alright, All right. so we're all rolling survival? No. All right. Who's I rolling literally it? said who was. I said... No, you didn't. I said, Ruby, you're in front, so roll me a survival check. All right then, Ruby. Yep. All right. Okay, so let's see. My survival is absolute dog shit. That's a three for a total of three. Okay, so. You have no idea where you're going. Uh, after about ten minutes of walking, you are lost in the college. You find yourself in a uh, find yourself pushing through a small door uh, near one of the central rings. Um, the hallway that you found yourself in in this ring seems abandoned, almost like. A bunch of the doors are old and haven't been opened in a while. Dust permeates the hall itself. Um, I would like a just... Damn, what is history here, man? History? That would probably be a lore skill, but yeah. only certain lore skills yeah. are relevant. Um, Might be society instead. I would like a lore society check from you, uh, Shadowy. Okay. And lore society. Lore. Society lore is a skill. Yeah. yeah, I think he means lore or society. Well, I mean, I don't, right. I don't, I was just told lore society is a thing by you guys. Uh, no, it was I mean, lore, it was lore history. check okay, or yeah. a society. Okay, check. a society check thing, because I don't, I, I don't know what the skills are right now. I haven't played in six weeks, guys. All right, it's so completely that's... understandable. Don't worry. All right, good. There we go. Let me get my path builder sheet open, I guess. Wow, it's only a 10. Okay. Yeah, this... You've never... Like, this is connected to a place that has been used quite frequently, but this area, it seems to be abandoned, this ring specifically, and you don't know why. Um, it is a bit darker here. Uh, the lights aren't as on. There's cobwebs. This place has not been taken care of. And as you guys are pushing through a door, uh, you find yourselves in what you assume to be a classroom or a live or a laboratory um you could see stone slabbed tables with uh small um curtains blocking some windows you can see candelabras uh different chandeliers you can see test tubes and um strange tomes uh that are old and decrepit uh, you also see a few, like, anatomy-based uh, skeletons uh, that are and uh, bodies that are placed uh, around the classroom. Uh, you also see on one of these central uh, tables, there seems to be a magic circle drawn. Um, and there seems to be a sheeted 
object in the center of the table. Got the app working. All right. Uh, I would like to go over to the table and more closely examine the item upon it. Okay. Um, the item, I'm. It, it's covered by a sheet. As I said, covered item. Um, the item, as you approach it, uh, do you, so the magic circle is on the table and it seems to bleed off onto the ground around. Do you still approach it? I would like to try and ascertain the effects of the magic circle first. All right, make me an arcana check. I would like to aid him. No. Dang it. You are not ar you are not arcanely intuitive enough to discern this in any way. Do you think I, I need an eight, eight check when this is my bonus? What'd you say, Soup? <laughs> I rolled a forty one. Forty one. Okay. <laughs> So, as you look at this, and uh, you're trying to identify some of these runes, uh, the kitsune, well, sorry, the elf comes up to you and is about to start helping you, and they start to uh, point out a few runes, you're like, oh, I already know what this is. Um, oh, so, don't worry about it, I should be able to figure this, this out. Is a, um, this is a very rudimentary necromatic spell for raising the dead. Um, hmm. looking at the area that it's within, you assume that it was probably meant to be showcased in a class, but you're unsure. And as you start to look at this rune, you look, uh, at the item on the table, uh, and it seems to be a covered set of remains. Hmm. Uh, it's at this point that you're this close, and so is the kitsune. It fucking reeks. This body has probably been here months. Uh, it smells terrible. Ugh. Especially so. Hmm. I will say this. The uh, circle seems to be incomplete. The runes seem to be stopped midway through creation. All right. Uh, just by looking at it, I can assume it's necromatic. I will use the cantrip detect magic just to verify that this is the case. Uh, detect magic only detects if there's magic, correct? Uh, heighten to fourth level. At this point, you can also pinpoint the source of the highest level magic, as well as when it's heightened to third level, I can detect so, the highest level effect within the So range yes, it detects magic. Give, give me a second, we're being yelled at. So the magical rune, which is incomplete, does not hold any magic in it at the moment. Hmm. Judging by the way that it feels, this is incomplete. It should, for the most part, be safe to cross. That's in the center of the room, by the way. Mm -hmm. um, does anybody here have a perception bonus of... Well, perception. Is perception even a skill? Yeah. Yes. 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 Okay. Uh, however, it is treated as a separate skill. Anybody have a perception bonus of 12 or higher? I do. I do. Only plus 10. Okay. Only Those of you nine. with a 12 or higher, because I'm not asking for plus 9s or plus 10s, uh, start to notice there's areas of the room that seem damaged from a battle. Um, areas of the room that seems like Looking at the door, somebody forced their way in here. A few people did. Could I cast um, object reading on the door? Let me pull up the fucking spell. I did a lot of different spells. Object reading. A level one occult spell? Okay. Yeah, you can cast it on this. Okay, I'm going to cast on the door. Okay. Um, so, you technically don't have that information, so this does make sense for you to do. Um, there seems to be... Hmm. 
hmm, how do I explain this? Um, no events within the past week aside from what you could feel as a ripple. A strange... How do I explain? Uh, a strange ripple that the door felt. As if something passed through without opening it. Whatever event transpired here with the door seemingly having been kicked open at one point and the room torn and broken through a battle seemed to have taken place more than a week ago. I hate to do this, but can we take like a five, ten minute break because we are being told we need to walk the dogs. You guys can go do what you need to right now. I don't think it's going to really affect your characters here. I'm just going to go into the, the details of this shit. Because we literally just started like I mean, Phoenix is literally the one investigating this, so yeah, it kind of does affect his character. Alright, let's stop the recording here, I guess.